Hey guys, so this is here bringing you another video, and if you're wondering, has you're not starting in-game? No. So this is the start of a big video, big play session. I'm recording on Sunday evening, um, so um, we're going to basically just upload. I'm, I'm going to include this champ select, maybe for the first game, and then I'll edit, obviously, and I'll cut in between each video, so they won't be like, you know, the things in the middle. But... Um, yeah, so basically I am going to upload, like if I play, let's say, three games tonight, I'll just throw all three of these games in this video to get a big video. The reason why I'm doing this, by the way, I'm already ahead in content and I want to stream a lot in the upcoming week. So obviously I had my week uh, re week holiday a couple of weeks ago with going to Disney and everything. I haven't been as streaming as much, basically. Um, so I have said to the chat, I'm committing, so I'm streaming tonight, which is uh, Sunday the 7th. I'm going to be streaming for basically nine days in a row. So I'm going to be streaming all next week. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Then I'll also be streaming the next Monday and Tuesday. So my next day off will be the 17th of April. Um, you know, not all of these streams are going to be six to eight hours long or whatever. Um, but they'll be decent streams. Like next weekend, my goal is to hopefully play Clash. Um, I'm going to play... Ooh, that's a lot of AP. Uh, I just Shaco, I guess. I'm going to go AD Shaco support. AD Shaco support is actually gaining popularity, by the way. So we'll actually go Flash... Because it's riskier. Hey, d -dum. Um, So we're basically going for big backstabs. And a lot of the time, the AD, enemy AD carry. You don't exactly go for crazy kills straight away. But um, you like half health them as the support. And then you just get away. They can't lane. That's the idea of it. Is it's really hard for them just to lane. And that's, that's also why. I was like, let's go AD Shaco. It gives us more AD um obviously it goes without saying the support role is still a mess i, I didn't get it how's it going dealum uh support role is still a mess you can basically play anything you want um still so yeah and obviously they're gonna think well they probably don't exactly know who's who right now uh also worth knowing obviously if you look below me we've got a big marvel thing uh the plebs have absolutely killed it so we started this on friday no thursday yeah thursday because i had friday off uh and today's sunday so people have absolutely done amazing, by the way. Um, you know, by the time you're watching this video, there may be a few days left. So if you wanted to contribute, download it quickly and contribute as much as you can. Um, but I will just say, and I don't mind saying, uh, I get paid a base amount. Um, from all the things that people have achieved so far, we're over the base pay. So I get a base pay, which is a certain amount, and all the things people achieved is actually it's, it's over the base pay. So they've like they've doubled my base pay of this sponsorship, which is incredible. So that that helps a lot. It really does help. So that's awesome. All right. So the goal of this week, and I'm including today as this week, because why not? It's Sunday, sure. Diamond two. Diamond 2 and hell with how much we're streaming if it goes well this week we could easily get diamond 1 um, So the enemy team on average doesn't play a lot of their champs by the look of it in the last 30 days at least We got a one trick cat a lot of Talia a lot of Udyr We're the weakness. I still have got zero games of Shaco wins in the last 30 days Obviously on this account overall uh, I do have an even win rate, but we'll see how it goes uh, I'm gonna start that Scorn, how's it going, man? 25 months with Prime since I spammed the game and I'm now level 18. Hell yeah. I'm level 39, by the way. Nearly level 40. It doesn't take long at all. So obviously, getting to level 30 is like the maximum way you can help. And hell, I don't even mind saying why not. If you, an individual, sign up and it's your fresh account, you get to level 7, you get to level 20, you get to level 30, you make me $28 as an individual, which is a lot. That's really good. All right, so the difference with AD Shaco support and AP, you may have noticed what I've leveled at level one. It's not W. It's Q. We'll be looking for a really big backstab on the center straight away.
He ignited. Go get him! Wait, what? Oh! Oh! Let's go! That center plate does so badly! What the heck, bro? Okay. I can't believe Senna did that. If she just survived, like, didn't die, we would be in such a bad position. Wow, I can't believe that. Wow. We need to push this so we can go back. The thing with Shaco, his, he can actually help push in quite well with his boxes. Oh, I don't know if I should have taken that kill, but I was also risk. I don't know what the enemy team's doing. Uh, let's give a hug. Again, emotes, I was always not a fan of them. I'm actually a pretty big fan of them. I think remotes are really good now that the vast majority of players in League don't use chat because you can convey what you feel in a non-toxic way um, straight away. So, like... I took that kill. I feel a little bit guilty. I'll give my AD carry a nice hug and hopefully they're kind of chill with me taking it, you know? <laughs> hey, Royal. Get him! He doesn't have flash. It's become so popular to not go flash anymore and it really confuses me. League of Legends, right, is ultimately balanced around flash. I'm not even kidding. It's actually how they balance the game, so it really weirds me out that they don't, people don't go flash anymore. Just one potato. Oh, hello. Oh wait, where did he go? There's Kazix. Kazix is the other side of the map. You're completely fine. What's this Thresh doing? Right, 100%... Wait, what? I heard Ignite. The Thresh just ignited me. What's this Thresh doing? Hello? Maybe he's never played against a Shaco support before. Ooh, Kazix is top. This will be fun. I can kind of... St I don't know about you guys, but I can see this Thresh is going to leave lane soon. Oh, he's still here. That surprises me. All right. Now, now <laughs> the box. <laughs> That's a waste of 75 gold. Oh, we need this to push our way. Just one potato. Give it to me. Just one potato. This Thresh doesn't know if I'm in lane or not, which is really funny. <laughs> I do want them, you know. This thrash. Bro. Wait, nice Katarina. One, Maka two, Maka three, Macarina. Four, Maka five, Maka six, Macarina. What is our plan here? Like, we can't really dive. Ooh. I'm not diving that. I refuse. Je suis refuse. Or refuse. There you go. Yeah, we could just do dragon, you know. Alright, let me just help with this wave and then I'll come over to dragon. Let's go. Hey, my Karina. As it's probably on that. If I, if I was a betting man. 
You play Gragas support, it's OP. That doesn't surprise me. The most OP things in support right now are everything basically but support. Support is a very OP role as long as you're not actually trying to play support. Really weird. What time is it? Chico time? No. It is uh, 20 past 5. I have flash. I thought I had exhaust. Oops. If you're wondering, why the hell did you just flash? Because I'm used to taking exhaust on Shaco. And I thought that was exhaust. Wait, that must be wrong. Is it 20 past 5? It is 20 past 5. What the heck? I thought it was like 8 p.m. Is it? I'm all messed up today because of the F1. The timing of the F1 just completely has done me in. I, I haven't had dinner. Have I had dinner? No. I had, um... We had a burger. F Ooh. We had a burger for lunch. So like, I had quite a big lunch. He got me. You know you want me. Let's go, baby. <laughs> we both dancing. Uh oh. That hook, bro. We can't overstay here because we're about to get double killed by a Kazix who doesn't... Like, he's out of the game. So, like, we really don't want to get give a Kazix a double kill when he's basically out of the game. Oh, I can feel it's coming, though. Oh, I can feel it. In the air tonight. Oh, Lord. Let's just leave. Let's just leave. Let's not risk it. Let's just leave. Hey, son, Vegito. I can feel it coming in the air tonight. Oh lord. I'm in waiting for... What the holy in Dubois? Hey, Neon Moon. You stopped at a gas station to drive back from a concert. Noise. Wants me to go AP. I'm not going AP game. I'm going add. Add. Is that Kazakh's top? Okay, they don't know I'm here. Hey, Mika with a gifted sub. That much, Mika. Can't get the backstab because the center keeps turning around. I don't know if she's doing it specifically. She might be. And I need you now tonight. And I need you more than ever. All right, Kazakh's got a double kill, which is not good. There we go. Dun, 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 dun. Bye bye. Queen Pleb came in and said hello. She may, well, she mainly, I think, came in to get Maya's dog food bowl. Come here! Ay, 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 We should probably, yeah. Talia just pinged. I'm going to come or we'll go around this area because I don't really want the enemy team to have six of them. Got a couple boxes down. Why not? Why not? Put a bit of vision down. Why not? Why not? Yeah, you can go back. Oh, hello. Hello, Mr. Boog. No vision for you, Mr. Boog. Nice. Oh, it's flash. 
That's what we wanted to do, baby. So if the Kazix is semi-smart, he'll go straight to Dragon. Right, I'm gonna go there now. Bonjour. The heck, bro? Uh, this poor Thresh genuinely is not having a good time. Yeehaw, man. How's it going, man? Oh my god, he killed Kazix. He just literally killed Kazix. Wow. Okay, 57 months. Says hello, Mr. Gams. I'm almost home now. Callista came soon. Have you become Iron Fighter? What's going on? Lads. Lads, what are we doing? That was really weird. Papa, don't preach. Pick it up. Oh my god, you didn't even die. This has gone very well. Like, what the heck? For a non... Um, she doesn't even play Neela. She's really good. The bug's going to get a double kill. Oh, he's top lane. Huh? Oh, dear! Kill him! Kill him! Yeah! Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> our defense then was offense that was genuinely our only way to survive oh my god let's go <laughs> oh god did he flash as well oh i think he did yeah you're right oh wait kazix took our red really what in Taranation? Neela should be fine. Some of them might have actually gone out. What, the enemy... Oh my god. Oh my god. Every play that this Thresh has tried to do has just gone bad. Every time. Oh... <laughs> Oh dear. Oh, oh dear. So wait, the Thresh doesn't... Oh, he's a one-trick poppy player. It's a one-trick top lane poppy. Guess auto-filled. That makes a little bit more sense why that's not going well. I'm ahead on level of the center. This is a game of League of Legends. First game of the day. 
Again, it's Sunday afternoon. Shaco support. Yeah, I mean, support is just straight up broken right now, so. As I said, the support right now is an OP role, but just don't play actual support characters. I, and again, I'm genuinely serious. Like, genuinely. Uh oh. I get him! I didn't get him. How did Friday go? Uh, yeah, so obviously I, I did tell the Twitch audience and then the YouTube audience you got it in a video. I did have an interview on Friday. I've got no expectations on it. Um, as I said, I'm not absolutely seeking a job, so it's a nice position to be in. I'd love to be a content creator for another year or two. I only applied to it because it's a role I actually am like, damn, I'd actually really enjoy that. Um, I feel the interview went very well, uh, personally. And I'll find out early in the upcoming week, uh, have I made it to the next round, basically. So, but I did, I did feel like I, I think I did pretty good. But I think, oh, she's actually gone a straight up AD Katarina. I think with interviews, I think most people, you're either in one category or the other. You either leave the interview and go, I did terrible, everything was terrible, or you go, dude, I aced that. That's basically the only two modes of interviews. So you're one or the other. Ah! Ah! Oh! Ah. Bam! Got it. Easy. Where are you going? <laughs> Where are you going, buddy? I'm a clown. Will I accept the job if I get it? I don't know. I don't know what the salary like is. Um, so if the salary is too low, no. But um, we'll see. Uh, that should be game. So as I said, this is going to be part of a mega video. Um, okay. Um, how many games I played tonight? two three maybe four i don't know um all of them will be just in this one video i did say i did this by the way at the end of last season and i did two videos like this and you guys actually really enjoyed them so i did actually think about wanting to do more of them and i just haven't done it so yeah, i need to so that's what i'm doing today no we didn't talk about salary um oh 22 lp hello that's really good hello 22 is actually really good I did more damage than my AD carry. Who was the carry in bot lane? I'm just saying. So, yeah, we go 729. 11.6k damage. Um, so, literally nearly 2,000 more damage than my AD carry. Um, not too far away from the Udyr, who went full AP Udyr, by the way. And also Talia. And then the enemy team. Senna did okay damage. But, yeah, the enemy bot lane, what, finished 1 and 17? Hey, little bit of mouth. 1 and 17 ain't great. Ouch. So, really good start to today. I'm going to keep the camera going because we're just going to go into now the next game. I'll probably not do any more champ selects. I just wanted to do the first champ select to explain what was going on. So, on to the next game. All right, welcome to game two. This is rolling, obviously, just from game one. And all my days, I'm a genius. So, I actually was like, I'm banning Katarina because there was the Katarina one trick from last game. Lo and behold, it's the same player mid. It is the Katarina player. So this Katarina player, boom, it was the Katarina that we had last game who was good. And now I banned them out. So what a ban. Uh, we've got Skarna top. I've heard it's busted. This guy does not seem to be from the year 3000. But also, I might have been hotfix nerfed already. Comp wise, I think our comp is better. But that doesn't mean everything. Um, a lot of the time when I'm playing Kassadin, my uh, team get a little bit, well, they feed, and then it's just, it takes too long for me to get back into it or carry. A lot of uh, Urgot games. But yeah, we'll see how it goes. But yeah, banning the Katarina was noise. 
uh, apathetic twitch four months tier one thank you so much my dude appreciate it appreciate it all right let's go oh dude apathetic twitch also with a gifted sub appreciate it man thank you appreciate all the support obviously at the moment guys means the world um and again i actually um i actually said it to the oh someone gifted you a sub fair um i said it to the twitch audience last time i streamed in the evening or something like that i can't remember what it was uh but the, when i said this the video didn't make it to the channel uh, i just want to say uh apologies and i do truly mean it uh recently and i don't mind saying i've been a bit panicked when it comes to like financial stuff and that's not your your guys's thing to deal with it's not your fault and i know if i talk about it too much it is just annoying um i used to watch a content creator and i was starting to see kind of resemblance with myself in some ways to this content creator um, some of you may know him with Boogie2988. I have many things not in common with him. But one of his biggest moments that he had a kind of a downfall, he was a massive content creator back in the day, but he started talking about a lot about money. And um, that was a major downfall for his. And I was just like, mm, I'm doing it too much. And, you know, I was doing it out of a place that I was just a bit worried. Um, talk Overly talking about it, if anything, it uh, makes you more worried about it, to be honest. Eh? Seraphine had to get banded. Banded, banded, banded. Oh dear. See, I'll do my best to not talk about it a lot. I may mention every now and then, you know, sub number every now and then and stuff, but, um. Yeah. Do 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 do. So early game, as always, in most matchups when it comes to Cassadin is just pretty rough because you are a melee champion against a ranged. You've just got to accept that. Oh, he just took a tower hit. That's good for me. If I get an early gank, it also can make the absolute world of difference. Like, that's what I sometimes do when it comes to, oh, I've got a, a hyper carry mid lane or a hyper carry top lane, whatever. Give them one gank in the early game and it just sets them off. What is he doing? Um, what? That's bizarre. Go! Oh, we're so sped. Let's go! Wait, what? Garner killed Urgot. Okay, maybe it is busted. I've been, I've been to the year 3000. Not much has changed, but they live underwater. Why would they live underwater, by the way, in the year 3000? Oh, I guess sea level's rising. Maybe that's why the song does that. Hey, Crowfoot. Yeah, apparently Scorpion beats Crab. I mean, a Scorpion overall would beat most Crabs in a fight, right? Right? Not all, I'd imagine. But, like, most. I said I've been to the year 3000. There's so many people that potentially also are watching this stream and YouTube video that don't know what that song is. Oh. I had busted CD, man. Actually banging in my bedroom on a CD player. Huh? What the heck are you doing mid lane, bro? Hello? Why is it... Okay, I'm going to just make an observation here. Why is it that I always get roamed on by enemy top laners, but my top laner never comes mid? And by the way, I don't think it was good that Urgot did that. I'm presuming he's getting beat quite badly, so he's feeling 
like, I need to do something. So he comes for a gank before I get mobility at level 6. Oh, I haven't yet. Yeah, sorry, Apathetic. I'll try to find that. Again, I can't. Sometimes I miss messages when I'm live. Apology. When I go back to base soon, I will have a look. Should be able to find it through your chat history. Okay, Mr. Scorpy. Let me keep farming. Oh, I'm not going to have level 6, though. Oh! What the heck? He's level 6 already? Wow. That bet. Is Skana legit just OP right now? What the hell? Oh, careful, 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 careful. careful. Don't overdo it. Uh, Apathetic just said, I watch your videos daily. Um, have I thought about doing other games, etc. for YouTube as well? Yes and no. Um, but then says, either way, we'll support till the end and hope you never disappear and always be there for a place of the first. Oh, I'm never going to disappear. I've said that forever. I, you guys mean way too much for me to be like, you know, see you later. I can't do that. That ain't going to happen. <laughs> I'm going to go back. Um, nice spot lane. Uh, when it comes to other games, I'd love to play other games, but, you know, other games aren't going to do as well content-wise. And when I'm, you know, I'm not in as happy of a place when it comes to view number and all that stuff. So, you know, if I was over, if I was really happy with it and then you're kind of comfortable, you can kind of risk experimenting more with other games. Um... But when I'm in a like let's say a low moment, I can't risk as much, you know. I, I I can't risk anything at all because I'm not at a a comfy place, if that makes sense. Run. Why is Rise all the way down there? Guys? I could potentially I'm gonna pop off there. No, my kills! Oh, you son of a... Well done, team. Great, you got all the kills without me. I could have stayed mid lane and got another tower plate. Jesus Christ, man. Yeah, we all got we all were bored in the wrong time, man. Give it another thousand years. And we probably all will just kind of chill. I remember, hey, Sithwith as well. 42 months prime. I might have said that already, but I appreciate it again if I did. Um, I watched a guy do a, like a TED talk kind of thing about like the future and everything. And his theory was uh, something on the lines of in about a thousand years or whatever. Look how far we've come in two, three hundred years. It's insane. Another thousand years. We won't really have any manual labor jobs. So all the job, you know, people will still have jobs, but the jobs will be only creative. All of the production, all of that stuff will be taken care of by robots and automation. So all the jobs left will, will basically be creative. Entertainment and all that stuff. So we were all born a little bit too early. I caught it. Dare I say, oh, hello, Skarna. The enemy team, if you're like, you know, what's going wrong with the enemy team? They're doing too much in the early game. They've still got a rise. A rise, you know, is a not early game champion. But they're playing like they've got an early game mid laner. They don't. And also, Jarvan is not as powerful in the early game as Lee Sin. But the Jarvan arguably is playing more aggro than the Lee Sin. So this is 
a bit weird. Rise is a hyper carry like Cassadin. But obviously, as I mentioned, this Katarina player, oh sorry, this player was the Katarina player I had last um last game. They were very good on Katarina, don't get me wrong. Oh! What is this new Skarna? Hello, Governor. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have te- Oh my god, if you live, the enemy team is going to be so tilted. Let's see if I can get one of these. I probably- I don't know. Oh my god, do, do, do non-junglers take more damage from these or something? Why am I taking so much damage? Ow. That really hurt. What the heck? Hey, Bindi Boom! Hey, Wind Fang! I need to go back. Don't. Stop, stop, stop spitting on me. Get away. Ah! Oh my god. Are they even the boots that I wanted to get, by the way? I don't even know. I mean, they're not going to be bad. They'll still be good. He used Splash, didn't he? Is this Ergot not ward at all? Like, he constantly keeps falling for the same thing. Do we get all six? Oh my god, that would be so big if we get all six. Yeah, 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 I'm on my way, I'm on my way. We can't get him. I uh, got all be on his way back, so it's too risky. Go on, Lisa, do a kick. 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 Ah, he did it. You... Thank you. I was going to say... Wait. He didn't even fist bump me. Someone else did. The Jinx fist bumped me. Yada da! Yada da! Yada da! Where did Ryze go? Is he rage quit? I'm so happy that I decided to ban Katarina because... Hot diggity damn. Okay. <laughs> there he is. He's back, baby. From downtown. Is Vanguard out now? I don't know. Genuinely, no idea. You found the rise? Thanks, man. I found him too. <gasps> Stop you, Libido. I shouldn't have vard over. I should have just stayed where I was. I did think about that. I did genuinely think of like, mm, should I just stay here? Oh. That's what we call a sad situation. It's a sad, sad situation. Ooh. Where the heck are you two together? Malignance is really overpowered on Cassidy. I mean, it's an overpowered item in general. But it's a very overpowered item on Cassadin. 
it's very obviously mana hungry, but that's why you go Seraph second item. What the heck just happened then? Oh my god, this Jarvan. Hey, Astral. Oh. There we go, game two. Game two. Do game. Second game. Well, this is going well. <laughs> sorry. That's my bad. Oh, I'm very sorry. Um. I don't know who to give it to. Lee Sin helped me a lot in the early game. But so did Skarna. I'll give it to Lee. I don't know. That was a hard one to do. Do -do 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 -do. 22! Oh my god, we're getting positive LP gains! 22 is good! Let's go! So we got 5 1 3. Again, the funny thing is, good KDA for a cast in early game. My damage wasn't that high, but you have to remember, obviously, you know, rises 1 6 1. How does he do more damage? It's range versus melee. A lot of that damage you would have done is in the early game just poking me out. But that's fine. That's that's literally Cassadin. But this was near enough a perfect early game for Cassidy. Some free kills, early game, you know, team doing well in the early game. Gives me time for a Cassidy to take over eventually later. Um, so yeah. Um, Halam just said, hasn't Mundo's Nurse always had positive LP? Hilariously, no. When we, we when I started playing on this account again last week, we started playing on it when this account had a five loss streak. And that made the, the, the LP games not good. Whoa, these are people angry. Do, 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 do. Yeah, the Morgana seemed quite bad. She might have actually afk She was level 6. I'm not going to report it because I don't know if she was AFK. And here's the, the thing, just to make again very clear, it's like a PSA educational thing. From the same game, one report is the exact same weight as nine reports. Oh, Folky. Folky with five gifted subs. Thank you very much, Mr. Folky. I appreciate that. Thank you. So you know like the whole premise of like, oh, times nine such and such does nothing. It literally does nothing. If you want to report a person, you report them and it has the same weight if you made everyone or if everyone in the lobby reports. It's not about how many people report in a single game. What actually like matters a lot when it comes to automated bans is how often you're getting uh, reported. So if you just get if you get reported from not from nine people in one game, but then you don't get reported by anybody for a month, it doesn't matter. Like genuinely, you'll be fine. But if you're getting reported one or two times every single game, that's when you'll get a punishment. More more likely than not. But anyway, let's get into the next game, uh, which um, again it might be the last one, but maybe we'll do two more. We'll see how because these have been pretty quick. But yeah, we'll get into the next game. Hey guys, let's see, bringing you a, another video. Wait, no. Welcome to game three, I think. And ladies and gentlemen, we're against Mr. Fraz on one of his Smurf accounts. So Fraz is a pretty big member of our community. He's a master Mundo one trick. Uh, streams himself as well. Um, very nice guy. So he's playing at this time as well. So we're against him. Hopefully we'll have a good time. It's always a good time. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, if you want to turn off chat on the Marvel game, just top when you're in the game, top, go to the cog, I think, in the top right. And then, like, on the right side, you can untick chat on both Global and Alliance. I've just turned all of it off. I'm not interested in that. Like, yeah, I don't play chat with League of Legends, you know. I don't like game chats, typically. Map cover? Nah, Fraz is fine. We don't need map cover with Fraz. Fraz is also a streamer. He knows... Um, yeah. Me and Fraz are good buddies. Minions have spawned. I can see what's happening. I've got that song stuck in my head, by the way. They don't have a clue. I don't think he's streaming right now. I think he was streaming earlier, though. But I think he stopped streaming. Born in love and here's the bottom line not worried about fraz yeah but fraz isn't gonna tell them that i'm streaming or a streamer 
Uh, I've spoken a little bit about the interview. Obviously, I'm not going into crazy detail, but all I'll say is I think it went very well. Um, he hinted already, like, during the interview, he, like, I think he kind of let it slip. Obviously, you find out if you make it to the next phase, and at the end of the interview, he kind of was like, oh, you know, your next phase is, you know, will be two interviews on the same day, and that's kind of the way he said it. So that was kind of funny. But we'll see. I Again, I'm mixed about it, as you guys know. Like, I knew I wasn't going to be a content creator forever, but I don't know. It's obviously, it's just ultimately it's going to be change. The change is always, you know, change is not necessarily a bad thing. It's just going to be different. And I knew, obviously, as I said, I knew I wasn't going to be a content creator forever. But it's just coming to terms with when is that, when is the end coming, you know? And as I said, I'm still going to be streaming. And that actually came up in the interview. Um, saying that, like, I wouldn't stop making content. And I'd still want to, you know, do that. But obviously, whatever, you know, if I got the job, that would be the priority. And if there's a crazy big project going on, then I might not be able to stream for a week because I'll be too busy. And I understand that, you know? So. You can't be pinging help already, my dude. I've not finished my first jungle clear. I see some junglers, by the way. They clear this, then do the buff, because then you have more time in lane with the buff. Five health. <laughs> oh, well, you got him. That's not terrible. Wait, Silas even died first blood and he has ignite. That's kind of crazy. Problem is my bot lane doesn't have any pressure right now. Wait, what? He hadn't... He didn't use Ignite. Oh, that's so sucky. He didn't use Ignite in that whole first blood play. That's bad. Oh, they have a Lucian who's going to fall off. Oh. Dude, so many Urgots, just weirdly like... Oh, oh wait, Urgot could actually win this. He's got Ignite as well, remember? He's got so many minions. Yeah, that's crazy. Bait the fight, bait the fight, bait the fight, bait the fight. Uh, if Fortune actually fought more there, it would have been better. Whoa. I got might even get a double kill. Void mummy. Yeah, that'd be Belbeth. Oh, careful, my bro. That is so much stupid damage by that Silas. What the heck? He's dead. He's gonna keep doing this. Silas is like, what weirds me out about Silas, man? He's not an early game champion, but he does so much damage in the early game. It doesn't make any sense. I am not messing around with that. Oh, you are actually going that crazy, huh? Wow. He's actually looking to invade me that hard. Oh. Okay, with a gift of someone to Zelge. Oh, very kind. Oh, this is so irritating. I don't want it to be like no help in my jungle again and again and again. You shouldn't be able to invade like that for free. Very annoying. Are we just going to give my red up as well? Like...
The chance that Lee Sin is here is high. If he's not shown now, I don't think he's here. Nikolai, thank you very much, dude, for the 26 months tier 1 sub. Just need to get level 6 as well, and then I'll be... Ah, that's where he went, okay. I was wondering where he was going. Dude, he just... Oh, wow, Viger killed Silas. This Silas is so aggressive. Oh, that was close. If that was a better aimed misfortune ult... I don't even know if we should do this. This is highly risky. He's just going to ult and kill you. I must know what it means. Are they basing or are they going? Okay, I think the enemy bot... Oh. Eh, I think that's kind of worth. Damn. Mundo... Uh, not Mundo. Do um, Ergot didn't react, I guess, to the ward he had down quick enough. Which is a shame. I'm also not level 6 yet. I'm very close. Yeah, Leeson's going to be on my blue. But we might be able to catch him. If I can get the smite, I get level 6. Yeah, he might be giving that up. It's so risky. Oh, God. This uh, Silas might be tilted. His, uh, his playstyle is so stupidly aggro. He got his smite too bad uh the silas i think is properly mental boom he's actually trying to fight cs with the lucian good cage really good cage Leeson pushing too hard. And now again, the enemy bot lane conceded, by the way, to the Silas. Right, we'll go mid then. You go bot. And then Silas runs straight back to mid. Doesn't make any sense. So that's where, like, process of elimination, it just has to be tilt. I want him to turn on the Janna. Oh my god, he actually got the kill. He got the kill because of Ignite. Oh, I'm on my bot lane. Fortune. My bot lane is doing really badly. My bot lane currently is one and four. What? What was that about? God, Lisa. Oh, he has Eclipse. I actually didn't know he... Oh, wait, Janna took the kill. I didn't know he finished Eclipse. Okay, that's why he did that much damage. Damn. I should have noticed. Silas is doing terribly, but still does that much damage. Like, that doesn't make any sense. Hey. What the heck is this, Silas? So, so, so aggressive. Lee Sin's probably going to do dragon, so we're going to probably swap. So I did the first dragon, then he did these. He's probably going to go do the second dragon, and I do these. That does happen quite a lot, to be honest. Yeah, the Janna's good, but we just need her to not take kills. Dragon will be dead now, which is alright. Don't mind too much about that. 
Careful underneath you. Ta da. I need to go back and finish my first item, so at least I'm like even with the least sin when it comes to that. This misfortune just constantly gets caught alone. And then she aims her if she aimed her a little bit down, that was a dead Lucian. That's the difference, you know. Is not good. Feels a bad man. I do think we outscale the enemy team, so that's what we've got to try and like hold on to. Because like I become a killing monster, Lucian falls off. Viger obviously is a beast, and I actually think Viger counters their comp quite hard. They're all quite low range, and Viger Cage just makes them go, "Well, you can't move forward anymore." You know, that's quite a big deal. So many random little wards because of Elise in, I think. Um, He has to be careful. I am in the area, so if he gets going like now, I'll run to him. But when I'm farming, I want to keep farming. She's doing it again. This misfortune just constantly does the same thing over and over and over again. Like, literally, she is just doing the exact same thing. Just the same death. Overstay, die. Overstay, die. Uh... I think I got, well, I got, I think it's supposed to be a counter to Dr. Mundo, but I know Fraz actually eventually thinks that he beats them, which does concern me, because, like, I've, I've seen Fraz wreck her and her got before. Come here, Vigar. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna lose my mind. This Vigar didn't move the entire time we were doing it. Oh, I'm gonna lose my mind. Like, what is his excuse for not coming over? We gave him ample warning. Literally, we were spam pinging him to come over. And he didn't move. That is just so stupid. Like, genuinely. So stupid. Leave this Viger. Like, honestly, that is one of the most stupid plays I think I've ever seen. He just stayed mid lane. The whole enemy team got there. The whole enemy team got over there. Before. Oh. Ignite. Just too much damage. The whole enemy team got over before Viger moved. Oh, I'm tilted from that. Genuinely. What the heck happened to his Q? Eh? Wow. That's crazy. That's really good for us. Because Lee Sin, remember, falls off. Misfortune? Misfortune, um, sorry. Lee Sin falls off. Lucian falls off. We should be good. 
I think they've got too much early game. I think you either put a Lucian in and have a scaling jungle, or you have a Lee Sin and a scaling AD carry. I think having both is not great. And they have both. Yeah, no, I, I feel sorry for the Misfortune in one way that she, you know, Janna was roaming. But on the same point, the Misfortune has definitely not played well. There we go. But then the Lucian, because he knows he needs to really carry, he's probably going to do stuff like that and basically overplay. And usually when overplay happens... Oh, really? Eason's doing the same thing. Again, he should have been happy with just kind of trading and not dying. He's overplaying because the enemy team probably feel pressurized. We're going to get outscaled there. It's the power of late game champions. I've said it for quite a while. My, the only champion that I do as a contradiction to my advice to play late game is I play Shaco. And that's just because I enjoy him. But I do genuinely just think play late game champions. You get late game arguably pretty early nowadays. Oh my god, that damage. What the heck was that? Oh, it's like full lethality. Okay. That's kind of nuts. Didn't know that's a build that Urgots do, but apparently it is. Can't go for that. I'm just going to go. Oh dear. Oh dear. I mean, at least it... Re Wait, it, the bl blue. They, at least it's still not managed to do the blue. Okay, I'll go over and do the blue. Um... What? Okay. I think the, the early game champions have kind of fallen off by this stage of the game. Uh-oh. Mr. Fraz scales. I'm coming! Mr. Fraz murdered my teammate. Hello, Mr. Fraz. I, I, excuse me. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Ah. It's really hard to outsmite a Lee Sin. Because they can just time their Q with Smite and it's so powerful. I need to go back. I have a tendency to carry too much gold with me in the jungle, and guess what I'm doing again? There's a Britney Spears song to what I do in the jungle. Oops, I did it again. Got Dragon in 40. Uh, got just had 5,000... Wait, he's got 5,000 gold on him, hello?
Hello? What the heck? That's a lot of desperation played by the enemy team. As I said, you can kind of understand it, but that was a lot of crazy all-in that would have been for Janna. You know. Oh. Okay. I don't have my... Ooh, you're done. you're alive. I didn't have um, my Red Bull gives me wings, so I couldn't actually fly over. Ooh. Oh, I died. He didn't. He didn't die. No, that's bad. Oh, see, that's the play again. Lee Sin makes another mistake. If he didn't die there, the enemy team could have maybe translated that into like Baron. He went for another crazy all in. And now I think we can do Baron, probably. Oh, maybe not. Misfortune. <laughs> I heard a flash then. Did Lucian flash on the spot? Axiom Arc Ergot. What? I've never seen a, a lethality build like this on Ergot before. It'd be a crazy build. Maybe it's a counter to Mundo. More, you know? Let's give my team red. It'll help them with this fight. I don't really want to do Baron with Lee Sin up, because again, Lee Sin is so much better at securing things than a Belveth. Oh, oh, that was odd. I mean, okay, now we can. What happened to me? All right, over. I'm so slow. Okay. We good. Misfortune is actively not helping with the Baron. Okay, that was funny. That's GG. Enemy team is going to surrender probably from that. Oh. All right, let's build my army. Minions of hell, I call you forward. Wait, I got you're taking my minions from hell from me. Hello? I've only got like three, maybe more than that. You got the winions. I missed. Well, how bad? Oh, there you go, GG. Oh, I'm gonna die. I was going to die. All right. GG's. I think ultimately we won this game. Well, I'd say a lot because of the Silas, if I'm honest. The enemy bot lane was winning. Enemy Fraz was doing fine in top. Lee Sin was doing good in the early game. And then Silas was absolutely running it. Like, Jesus Christ. Like, I don't understand. He just needed to... Oh, did Lee get to it? So Fraz is in chat. Was the Silas crazy or anything, Fraz? Because, like, that Silas in the early game was playing like a mentalist. Every play, he just had went all in, all in, all in, all in. It was crazy. Both the Silas and the Lee tilted. Yeah. I think as well, your problem is you had too much early. Because you had a Lucian and you had a Lee. Both were doing well in the early game, but both also were going to fall off. 
I think you needed something. If you had a Lee Sin, you needed like a Vein or something or a Jinx in bot lane. Or if you had a Lucian in bot lane, you needed something better as scaling in jungle. Having both of those picks, I think, does hurt. But yeah. But yeah, GG's for us. Um, so we go 8, 5, 6, nearly 17k damage. So again, even though the Lee had a good early game, we just eventually outscaled him. And then we were stronger. I was also three levels above the Lee Sin as well. So very good game. Um, yeah, three wins for this video. We've only played three. You're seeing all the video. All the games I'm playing, by the way, is in this one big video. Let's keep going. And also worth mentioning, we only gained 21 in that game, but we're on 79 LP. Do you know what that means? If we win the next game and gain 21, I can do math. We could be Diamond 2. We could be. So we're going to do one more. Uh, one more league game. And that's that'll be my last league game for today. Um... Because either we get back to Diamond 2, potentially, or we don't. <laughs> so, but it'll be a good start to the week. But anyway, let's get into the last game of this mega big video. All right, welcome to the last game of the big video of one play session. We have won every game today, and we are on 79 LP D3. If we win this game, we've been gaining 21 or 22 LP per game. We could finish today Diamond 2. Uh, I'm playing Diana, even though I don't play it, because we have the Yasuo combo, basically. Bad Azir win rate. Oh, dear. But he has also got Grass, but he might be doing the Tank Azir thing. League of Duo Qs, I've just noticed. Holy moly. So, Skana is with the Zeri, and then Jungle and Mid are together. Damn. Why did the game that determines if we get promoted potentially to Diamond 2 have to be a League of Duo Q game? That's annoying. Why is no one playing Annie at the moment? Honestly, you can't. That's kind of the answer. The mid lane changes and everything did nothing really to help in mobile mid laners. It's, again, it's why like playing Anivia, she is strong, but the feel of playing Anivia is awful. Because you just get camped. Oh dear. Whoa. 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 Yeah, feel. Leona's going to be potentially late to lane. I don't think I'm supposed to start W level 1 or Q level 1, but obviously... Sometimes you don't want to let people know that you know they're invading, and sometimes you do. And if you're wondering, when when are the times you do? When you just want them to leave. When you're just like, oh, I don't want them to be messing around in my jungle. So you just let them know, and then typically they'll just walk away. But if I'm not mistaken, by the way, I'm very worried about this Azir, because I think, if I'm not mistaken, he may also have wanted Yasuo. Let me just check what his match history is. Uh, maybe not. I have no idea. He did play a game of Azir earlier. He went 5-1-2, but he lost. So, Di I'm sorry, Viego's pathing down. Or he's pathing to invade. He does. He is much stronger than me in the early 1v1, and he probably knows it, and I know it. So he might be doing this to then invade my blue. I've got to look out for that. I don't suppose the Vie the uh, sorry Yone is going to be good against Skarner in the early game. And the thing with the new Skarner, right? He's a pure tank. Yone's pretty good at killing pure tanks. You know? It doesn't look like Skarner does a crazy amount of damage. He just does a lot of, like, constant, I'm fighting you, I'm fighting you, you can't get rid of me. But when he builds both, like, tank killing items that also have lifesteal, he might be fine. They used a lot in bot lane. Oh, uh, Viego's down there. Did they not know he was pathing bot lane? Good Q by Janna. Okay, that would be an insane survival if they do. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good.
We've got Viego underneath us right now. That's why I don't want to like leave the Zir. I'm trying to help him push it so then he feels comfortable to go back. Boom. Nice. And bot lane also got a kill. Nice. Not nice. <laughs> he got killed by the scorpion. The thing is, again, he's brand new. Like, people aren't going to know. Like, this could be this guy's first time laning against it. That's the problem, right? It's like cheese picks. When a champion is brand new, it's obviously not a cheese pick. But it's the same strength as a cheese pick. In one of the major strengths for a cheese pick is people don't know what it does. Oh. I might have missed. If Viego goes straight to this. If he goes straight to it, I can't obviously fight it for it, but... I'm hoping he wants to go back himself. Nasher's tooth first item for me. Twisted uh, Fate went left that way. Are they doing it? The thing is, we have no prior top lane. I don't really think we have prior mid. We might have to give this up. I'll try and just get one. Oh, wait, what? They're not doing it. I should be pretty good at doing this because I've got attack speed. It's why I bought the recurve bow element first. But look how quick I am at doing this. What the hell? Too late, buddy. Too late. Apologize. I think Diego's in here. Oh. My eyes are open. Do a thing. Do an ulti thing. Oh. Don't have E. Ult him! Ult! Thank you. Come again. That's all we want. We don't need to do more than that. Some people will be like, oh, translate that into dragon. Do this, do that. We don't need to. I don't actually think we need to risk that much. I think our scaling is bonkers. I will start ganking bot lane, by the way, when I'm six, because that's when you get the easy, obviously, Yasuo ultimates. But I also need him to be level six, too. Actually, if she had fast where he died again. Does this guy play Yone or no? Maybe he doesn't play Yone. I'm gonna do dragon. Because the enemy bot lane obviously has no pressure. Um and normally whichever team gets the first three grubs, they give dr never mind. That's so annoying. Oh! Oh, imagine. That's annoying timing. I knew it was risky to try and do that dragon, but... Maybe I didn't. Well, I shouldn't have done that, let's be honest. But they're doing that. We're just going to give it. We're not in position to fight for it. Yone's dead again, I think. Right, is this Yone a typical Yone player or what? Um... He's autofilled. He's a mid lane player. He actually has pretty good stats on Yone, but only 11 games. He's just getting destroyed. But at the same time, I have heard, and obviously we saw earlier, the new Skarner is stupidly overpowered. Um, 
Riot are terrible at actually releasing champions that are balanced initially, as we all know. get a kill they didn't do dragon which i actually think is a mistake are we not fighting that at all really oh okay that was close to me surviving that Ooh, that was close. If I survived that, that would have been insane. Yeah, straight to grubs. I'm hoping Yone will settle down when he's got Bork. Don't just run into him, bro. What I don't get is why does he do so much damage when he has literally no damage components? Again, pure tanks do way too much damage. The thing I don't like if I go for the Skarner is it's going to potentially give up grubs. Quite a bad death, actually, by Skarner. We need a Zir. We need a Zir. We need a Zir. A oh, Diana does these so fast. What the heck? Alright, we get all of them. Big. Our tower pressure now for the rest of the game is huge. <laughs> Looks so stupid. <laughs> what the heck? <sighs> Wait. How did they get one? Wild card stop. Oh. Did they? Oh. I did not notice that. Why are you still fighting him, dude? Like, I do think... Well, judging from what I'm seeing, yes, yeah, Skana needs nerfs, no doubt, but... Maybe wait until you have Blade of the Ring King and then fight him? Okay, Viego's top. You get to do Dragon in a second. See, if I was Viego, I wouldn't even bother going top, because, like, they're winning like mad. You're just kind of... Not needed there. Maybe it's for the Viego to try and recover his KD so he feels less tilted or something. Always could be a reason. You never know. Yeah, never know. I don't feel strong though. Say that. I need to go back in a second. But if he could get a kill, that'd be sick. Wait, what happened? Why is he just standing there? You crazy boy. Oh! You crazy boy! That was good. Worth. He just killed two people. 
Damn. Go get Rift Herald, I guess, because Veer goes dead. Blue and then Rift Herald. Bot lane seems quite good. The fact that our Yasuo has not died in lane phase, that means it's a good Yasuo. Like, straight up. How the game's been today? Uh, we've won every game so far. Been great. I'm also very strong this game, by the way, if it's not obvious. I'll try and kill Viego here. Hug the wall, and okay. What's your problem? I'm helping you. Jesus, what's his problem? All right, I'm gonna take it that he wants me to use this. That's how I'm taking those spam pings. I don't know if that is exactly what he wanted. Right, I'm going bot lane. Oh, I missed! It. I can't believe that missed. <laughs> This. We need to go, Miss the Asui. That poor Viego. Hello, frog. The thing is, in my mind, the Skana can't carry this game, right? There's no way. He's just a tank. That's probably more annoying just in 1v1s than anything else. But Viego is so far behind jungling. I will, by the way, talk to Queen Pleb after this game and just see if um, Maya's been okay. I can potentially hear Queen Pleb telling Maya off. Obviously, I don't want Queen Pleb to be stressed or anything the day before she goes to work. So if Maya's being a bit of a bother, I'll probably do the Marvel thing another day. Um, and then I'll take over Maya duties the rest of the night. So I will see. Oh, she just sent me a message that says, it's okay, keep on. I love you! Apparently she has just gone underneath a blanket. <laughs> just. Oh, our house isn't that big, <laughs> so, you know, you can hear a lot. We're coming, boy! Oh, hello!
Nice. Rampage. Rampagni. Dude, this is it. He's randomly gotten better. He wasn't doing too hot in the early game, and he's like turning up. Turn it up. Turn it up. Stop it! We're coming! Maybe I should give them kills to the Yone, but at the same time, it would reset his gold? But maybe I shouldn't? Wait! Oh. Azir was, like, still going. Dude's crazy. What the heck, bro? That's a lot of people. Ooh. That's Baron. Oh, that's so stupid. I don't know what my team are doing. The Azir was still in the enemy territory, and then the Yone just ran in and inted again without using Flash or Ultimate. We got a Yasuo that's just living bot lane. Blah. This game's been made harder when it was kind of a free win. Oh well. Azir needs to be more careful, I think. And he's doing the exact same thing again. No need to overstay that hard. I think we win this game legitimately automatically. I don't think this game is difficult at all. Uh, he just... Uh, whoa. Wait, what? That Skana's dead. That was really weird. So Skana ulted the Azir at the same time that Azir ulted as well. That's legit what just happened. So it actually got the Azir back to safety and got the Skana killed. That was weird. So I don't honestly think this Baron is going to do the enemy team like a world. Yeah, I'm going all in for that because like that's their jungler. I want him to stay tilted. Don't give them any breaks. So again, momentum obviously is key in League of Legends and oh god, the enemy team just got Baron and they'll feel good about themselves. All right, kill them instantly. And then they don't get that boost of like, oh, guys, we're recovering, right? Oh, you died. The Twisted Fate just died in a 1v1. Boom. All the momentum and all the good feelings of getting Baron is now gone. That's so big. I'm going to shadow the Yone because I imagine someone's going to try and kill him soon. Probably the Viego if the Viego's not gone over that way. Hey, look, the Viego. Steal red buff from them. Make them freak out. He just straight up missed. Let me yes Hello? He used it on someone else, I think. Or did he use it on me? Oh no, he did use it on me, I think. The Zeri, though. We didn't get the Zeri. What the hell is that Skana? What? I honestly don't even know. Like, there was tower damage going on, but, like... I don't even know what killed him. They need a nerf Skana, man. What the hell? Hold up, I'll be it up. Hold up, I'll be it up. I, that was a good ulti that I did. It's just I'm squishy right now. 
the problem. I'll buying Storm Shadow. That's the one, and then I'll probably buy Zonyars. I don't want to risk death. There's no point just feeding. Chain feeding is what gets you in trouble. Yeah, this game is close. It arguably shouldn't be, to be honest. But the Yone feeding as much as he has has made it closer than we'd like. Oh, I thought they could. They probably could have stopped that. On a Zed to spawn before I kill the blue. There you go. Means he gets it on spawn, which is nice. I think more people need to pay attention to that type of thing. The amount of times I was even like a mid laner, I'm about to spawn and my jungler kills one of the buffs. I'm like, hello? Right, I'm going to go Zonya's next because I just think for me to get an absolute amazing ult off, I've got to risk going in the middle of fights. So having the. Uh... Oh, if you get that, that'd be sick. Oh my god, you do. Let's go. That's big. Um. Yeah, I've got to go in the middle of fights, and that's scaries. Very scaries. Everybody was surfing in the USA. Oh! Oh, that was bad. That was... That was just straight up a bad play. He actually missed. For those that are wondering, like, what happened... The Azim missed his ulti. Okay, that's not too bad. What is this guy's damage output? What the heck? Like, where's that damage from? He has no damage items. Okay, he has Bramble, but even that shouldn't be doing that much. Oh. Janna was next to the Yasuo there. Yeah, that fight there. I'm a lot stronger than that Skana. Yeah, that he definitely needs a nerf. That made no sense of how much damage he just dealt to me. That was crazy. Tank items have been strong the whole season. Like, they need to calm them down. It's just that I'm fine with tanks being really tanky. Oh, dear. What I'm not fine with is them also doing more damage than damage dealers, you know? Because they already reduce how much damage damage dealers are doing, but then they're also out damaging them. Nah, creeps at this stage of the game aren't doing a crazy amount. Creeps wouldn't have made a big difference there. There we got our Zonya component. Nice. I'm gonna go kill this Wizard Fate, I guess. Pretty sure I can kill more or less anybody on the enemy team. Do we have a pink ward? Do it, see what happens. Oh, I was a Zir. Wow, that was quick. Um, I was gonna say I could have you could have preemptively ulted and it would stop people even jumping over the wall. I was literally about to flash for that Zeri. Happy I didn't, because I don't think I would have got it. Oh, dude, Purple Ghost 2 with five gifted subs. Thank you so much, my man. There you go, GG. Let's go, dude. What a day. What a day. Come on. We need to gain 21. If we don't gain 21, we gain 20 or 19. 
Dude, we played really good today. I need to play more Sunday evenings, apparently. What the hell? Let's go! And I'm pretty sure the enemy team had the two duos and we had one, so that means we should have good MMR because they are more likely to win because they had more duos. Here we go. Here we go. It crashed? No. Oh. You, like, are you serious right now? Are you... I've been gaining 22 slash 21 all night. And the one game I need to... Oh. That bit, man. Well, the good news... Thank you very much. We'll we'll take take the silver lining positive. Technically, as I've always said this, technically, this is a good thing if we win the next game. So your display rank and your MMR are two different things. And your display rank, when it's going well, will go faster than your MMR. So if you actually stay in like your display rank of Diamond 3, one more game, and then you win another game to get into a rating, it helps the MMR just climb a little bit too much. Uh, it may help your MMR climb a little bit more, hopefully equalize your display rank, and then you promote into a new rank. Oh, that's really annoying, though. Imagine if we literally ended today winning every game and getting back into Diamond 2. That would have been... At, well, it's still good. Like, again, we've played 4-1-4. This is a cracking video. Every game we've played is in this video, and they've all won, and I got fed in every single game. Also, so damage-wise, Yasuo did the least damage on our team. Less than the Janna. Ow. So we do 20.6. We do 5k more than the Viego. Quits of Fate obviously struggled quite a lot. Skarna, uh, sorry, Yone did the most damage in the game. If you're like, really? He was obviously hitting on a Skarna a lot. And, you know, he recovered his game like I kind of predicted when he gets lifesteal. But, um, yeah. Oh, wait, are we on a seven-game win streak now? Nice. Uh, yeah, anyway, that's going to be it. If you guys enjoyed this mega video of four games, all included, all wins, do throw a like on it, throw a comment, throw a subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Cool down.